It is January the 17th, 2021. I'm Andy, and this is your Menorcan Mullet Report from the Golden Ray Rec site. And I uh, just want to clear up a couple of loose ends. Uh, the Kirk J. Crosby, we saw that tug pulling the stern section out of uh, the Brunswick Channel on Friday. Uh, made it down to Miami, where apparently it has handed off the tow to the Crosby Challenger, which now has assumed that stern section and will continue around to the Gulf of Mexico on its way to Gibson, Louisiana. And the Kirk J. Crosby is on its way north, and we can assume on its way back to the Port of Brunswick and to the site. Um, Stay tuned, and I guess we will start tracking the Challenger. And then another development on Friday, uh, we got a picture of this hopper barge being brought into the Port of Brunswick. We're trying to figure out what part this is going to play in the the salvage operation. And the only thing I can really come up with is possibly four vehicles to be placed into. And we know that we've seen the setup um, for what appears to be fluid removal from vehicles in that lot that was cleaned off in the port. Maybe this hopper barge is part of that operation and the vehicles, once they're uh, decontaminated, if you will, are gonna be placed into this hopper barge for transport. A lot still remains to, to be seen and that is purely speculation, but just something we noticed on Friday. We wanted to clear that up. And now on to current events out at the rec site. It's been a while since we have been out to the site to take a look at things going on there. So we made the trip out and the first thing we noticed, uh, the VB was still well off the stern section, but the cranes that were in place in Brunswick now were at the site and uh, there were two there and they had uh, what appeared to be the anchoring system lifted up uh, with those cranes. And what we're assuming is going on there as the VB is moved out, uh, these cranes have to be in place to pick up those lines and hold them over some of the pilings uh, on the, uh, the what would be the south gate to allow the VB to move back over the Golden Ray. And we think that's what's going on here today because we did see the VB begin to move uh, from this position that it's been since it loaded the stern section onto uh, the barge. It's been sitting here taking care of maintenance. They've had the maintenance barge underneath it, working on the blocks, doing whatever it is they need to do uh, following a cut to get ready and get the the VB uh, prepared for the next cut. Well, we see now that the VB began to move back over the Golden Ray. I wouldn't say that it moved into position to begin cutting. And uh, we got some more footage of uh, from a side shot where you can actually see where it's moving up on the, onto the ship. But you can see that definitely moved today, and that is a step in the right direction. Um, also... Uh, Out at the site, we noticed that uh, the uh, Weeks barge that we've seen staged uh, over near Jekyll Island was back in the position. We saw that barge in Brunswick uh, while we were uh, filming the departure of the stern section. And we're assuming it was back in the Brunswick to be restocked, resupplied, uh, whatever needs to be put on that barge for the upcoming cut. And then that that barge was brought back out to the site and put back on a, a, a mooring ball in its regular position. So it's it's back in place, and we can see that a lot of uh, a lot of things here. We have the the anchoring system, and and this was over on the the east side of the VB. But you can see that spider web like uh, system of uh, 
lines that go off to the different anchors. Uh, this was on the west side, again, same sort of thing. And these lines attach back to the VB and back to some anchoring systems that they have in place. And it looks like they were being lifted uh, so that the VB could make it, uh, the lines would, would clear those pilings again. And uh, then they were lowered back down in the water as the VB, uh, I guess, had enough clearance uh, to get, get back in. So things are looking like we're getting close to another start of cutting on that third section. Uh, we took just a minute to swing the camera over and kind of go down the shoreline of St. Simons from the lighthouse all the way down uh, to this south end of the island. All this uh, faces the uh, VB 10,000, uh, the Sea Island Golf Course coming into view there. Um, the clubhouse and the area there, uh, the lodge at the uh, Sea Island Resort a golf course at the end of St. Simons Island. Just want to do get that in the shot. Uh, good vantage points for anyone uh, out on the golf course. Those uh, those golfers get plenty of views of the of the uh, VB 10,000 and the Golden Ray, and they have for the past oh I don't know 15 or 16 months now. And back uh, as we go around the ship, back around, you can kind of see that the gap is beginning to close on the distance between the VB and the ship. And as we, we anchored up and kind of spent a little time there and got a few more shots and definitely can, can report to you that the VB was moved today and did begin uh, to find its way over the ship. It was just a, a little bit of the of the VB that made it over the ship, but yes, we, you know, last time we saw the, the VB move, it moved a, a bit of the way and then stopped. Um, this could be, and it could have something to do with the tidal flow. Um, it could have something to do with other pieces that they have to put into place uh, before it gets uh, really uh, locked down and anchored in the, into its position to start the cutting, but. The process has started, and it is beginning to move over the ship. And then as this video uh, ends, we had a still shot, and this is just before uh, we departed. We can really tell, yeah, the VB has definitely been moved and is headed over that stern section of the Golden Ray. Hey, that's it for the day. We hope you enjoyed it. If you haven't done so, we ask that you subscribe, send us some comments. And most of all, I want you guys to stay safe out there.